This video is brought to you by the good people over at Creative Cave. A home for content creators. It's a place where creators can come in and work on their solo projects or collaborations just like ours. So if you're looking for a space to shoot your next branded deal, edit your videos, or even a home base for your next business, make sure to go to creativecave.com.au. Find the promo codes below AMAXCC for a half day, AMAXCC2 for a full day. More information in the description below. That's exclusive. What's up everyone, you're tuning into AMA's The Creative Cave. I'm AJ. I'm Rennie Sim. And today we got the D new one in the house. Let's go. Yeah, so D, we've we've gotten to chat a bit before the before we started taping this. And so far, I think I can speak for the both of us. We're so glad you're here. Thank you. Yeah. So happy to have you here. <laughs> yeah. So should I just hold it like this the whole that, time? That's it. That's okay. it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Okay. Like we got a we got a few people, a few moving pieces around. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. like they're just here to observe. Mm -hmm. So just have a natural conversation. Yeah. yeah. And I guess it's sort of like as an icebreaker, uh, we start with a bit of a game. Mm -hmm. It's called First Impressions. Mm. Yeah. So from knowing us just by first impressions, if you had to do the same interview, not knowing what's going to come, and replace the two of us with any two people from history, dead or alive, who would it be and why? Mm, replace you two with two people, dead or alive. I don't know. Could it be just anyone? Anyone from history. Anyone from history. It could be, yeah, it could be anyone, fictional or non-fictional. I think it would have to be my grandparents, like, to get it real deep because my grandparents went through the Vietnam War oh, wow. and they're, like, no longer around. So I'd love to, like, sit here, chat with them and just know the history and know how my mum became the way she is through her mum because her story is wild. Like, she grew up in Vietnam. She ran away from home at 19 and, like, was on a boat, went to Hong Kong, like m similar to a lot of like. Yeah, you Vietnamese. know what? That's similar to my parents' story exactly, too. Exactly, yeah. right? Just switch so the countries around, and that's yeah. like. Yeah, and that to me is just yeah. so bizarre and so like incredible because she did it at 19. I'm 26 now, you know, mm -hmm. like imagine me doing that stuff now. That freaks me out. For She's sure. At 19 by herself. So yeah. I'd love to interview my grandparents just to know like what kind of stuff they went through and. Yeah, maybe we can learn from history. Definitely. Yeah. That's yeah. a really good answer. I was <laughs> not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, like, I wouldn't want to... It's going to be like Ryan Seacrest. Like, yeah, oh. but like, I wouldn't want to... Like, celebrities and stuff are cool, but like, you know, this, your history, like yeah, getting sure. to the root of yeah. who you are and how your family is... 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Now, speaking yeah. of celebrity, everyone knows, you know, everyone knows what you do, what you're known for. Is there anything you don't want to be known for? I did do pole dancing a couple years ago and like when I was on Geordie Shore yeah. they found old videos of me doing pole dancing they're like oh my god Dee's a stripper and she mm. does reality TV she's a stripper on reality TV and that actually like kind of upset me because no I'm not a stripper like just because I'm on reality TV doesn't mean like there's nothing wrong with strippers by the way but yeah. I had like a serious job you know I was sure. a hard-working professional yeah. and it yeah. took me so long to get to where I was and I felt like that's all people knew me for. Like yeah. just from a video of me doing a pole dancing thing. Like yeah, right. it was just a bit like, oh, what the hell? But it comes with the cost of being on reality TV. Yeah, yeah. and speaking of reality TV, um, I'm just curious to know like, was that always the path that you wanted to sort of go on? Or what was the sort of end goal? Like was it, the f was the fame a big part of it? Or what was the driving force and why, like was reality TV always part of the path? Yeah. I sort of stumbled into reality TV. So like I said, I was in marketing for a while and I thought that, you know, by the time I'm 24, I wanted to, uh, by the time I'm 25 actually, I had a goal to be a marketing manager and I think we were just talking about this earlier, but yeah. I'll finish the story now. Um, and um, I actually reached at 24 and I, did, I realized like my life was like, you know, so miserable because I was working for this company that would replace me tomorrow if I died, yeah, you know? Right. And like, mm. that wasn't the stuff, like that's that wasn't the company I wanted to keep. I didn't want to dread Mondays. I didn't want to go in and be like, oh my God, you know, another day in the office, like, and just checking for five o'clock. Yeah. So I was like, man, I need to do something else. And 
one day I saw this application online for first dates and my girlfriend was actually like to me, D, like you'll be fucking hilarious at this. Go apply for it or whatever. And I was recently single. So I was like, you know what? I got nothing to lose. So I applied for it online and I actually got a call back and I went and like I was on the show and everything and I had a, a lot of fun. Yeah, but yeah. the producer on that show, she, um, she was the one that cast me and she was like, hey, by the way, I'm working on this project called Geordie Shaw. Like, would you like to be on it? And we think you'll be great. I was like, what's Geordie Shaw? She's like, oh, it's like Jersey Shaw, but an English version. I was like, yeah, all right. Does it pay well? She's like, yeah, you'll get a shit ton of money for just partying <laughs> and yeah. drinking. I was like, sign me the fuck up. Ooh. Because you know what? By that t At that stage, like, I worked so hard. I never really let loose. I never really just took time off and just partied. So I was like, yeah. you know what? I've got nothing to lose. Awesome. Fine, let's do it. And work gave me four weeks off. So I did it, had the time of my life, met some great people, mm. came back and I was like, you know what, reality TV is cool and all that, but like I really need to like just rein it back in and just go back into marketing because who am I, you know? I just from, I'm from Cabramatta, like I'm not going to ever make on TV. Shout out to Cabramatta. Shout out to Cabramatta. <laughs> <laughs> Cabra, 2166. <laughs> um, and yeah, so where was I again? So, and then after Geordie Shaw, I came back yeah. to marketing. So I was like, marketing. And then my manager hit me up. Hey, there's this great show. It's called um, The Challenge. It's um, a US show. It's international yeah. MTV show. It's been around for 35 seasons. You'll be great at it. You don't need to party, get drunk every night. You go in there and you actually compete. And if you win, you win a million dollars. Yeah. I was like, a one in 34 chances of a million dollars. Sign me the fuck yeah. up. Did sure. that, yeah. had the time my life met, like even better than Jordy Shaw, because this show was everything for me. Like mm. it was like so suited for and me. I watched some of the clips from that, like on your Instagram as well. Yeah. And it was like, how, it was really interesting to see how people were like describing you yeah. and like their first impressions <laughs> of you. Yeah. She's really tiny, but, yeah, but she's got a lot yeah. of fight in her. But, um, yeah, so I had the best time because like I was competing, yeah. I had so much fun. Like it wasn't about hooking up and getting drunk, it was about showing how fit and strong and capable I am. Yeah, I love sure. that. I yeah. love it. It puts you in a powerful position as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah definitely. So I did Stuff that. on that show that I could never do. Yeah, <laughs> I did that, smashed it, just finished filming the last one, which is airing soon, by the way. Awesome. Watch Sweet. out for it in September for Australia, August for the UK and US. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Little mm -hmm. plug right there. Yeah. And yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Now yeah. I'm just living the dream, man. Like I work out every day, just preparing cool. for the next one. Amazing. And look, I'm oh, sure. Sorry. I'm sure you get a whole bunch of interviews as well since you're, you know, a part of all these TV shows and all that. Are there any questions that are always asked that you, you do like and then there's, there's questions that you actually hate being asked? No, not really because I am just so open. Like, I don't have anything to hide. I love talking about where I grew up, like what Sweet. I did. Like, you know, I think I'm always like, I'm not above it all, you know. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm an open book. Everything you want to know, I love people asking because I prefer like deep and meaningful conversations yeah, and questions sure. like this than the generic like oh like how do you stay so fit like oh what's your diet like what's your yeah. fitness routine like oh, like okay cool like ask me something meaningful ask me about you know I'm glad like, you find this deep and yeah, meaningful yeah like yeah. ask me about like, what drives me what yeah, am I passionate sure. about sure. you know, yeah, stuff yeah, like that and I think that those are things that people like naturally just want to know mm. especially if they're fans of you for sure like they want to I feel like they want to get to know you um, that's just me, but you mentioned earlier, like there was a stage in your life where it was it was good timing, and and the party was right in front of you, and there was a phase in your life that you enjoyed. So if you kind of look at life as this big party, that's deep. That's deep. It's man. also a cliche, yeah, yeah, but we're gonna move deep, past that. Yeah. Um, if you look at life as a big party, as someone who is an experienced party goer, mm. where do you think we're at? I think I'm right at the entrance, man. Like, I still got a lot wow. of party left in That's me. That's so surprising. And, and, and what kind of party do you think you're walking into? I'm Is it at a costume like, party? You know, like, like a slutty 21st birthday party, you know, like all out, big birthday cake. Everyone's dressing up. Everyone's having fun. Bottles of champagne everywhere. I'm at that kind of party. I'm just at the door because, Celebrating. you know what, there's still so much more in my life that I'm gonna do and I'm gonna accomplish. I don't know if that sounds cocky, but I don't care. Like I'm right at the door. Like, you know, I just step past the threshold and there's this a room full of party going on and I'm gonna walk through it, enjoy it, experience it because I'm at the cusp of where I wanna be. That's wow. so sick. And what a mentality to have, right? 100%. And, <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. And um, in saying that, now that you're at the start of the party, what's next for, for Dean Yuan and can we come? 
<laughs> of course. Well, next to me is I'm planning to move to LA in January. So that's my thing. I'm going to move to LA in January. I am starting to write a memoir. Wow. So I want to write a memoir about my mum's story and then also my story. And then like just, I, I want to have this novel just for me and like my future children because my future children are going to grow up not the way I did, you know, like I grew yeah. up quite poor as well. Yeah. So they're going to grow up so privileged and I don't want them to forget their roots, their heritage of where mm. their mum came from and mm. their mum's their mum. Like I want to keep that in the family, like just a document and say, hey, this is the kind of shit we went through for you to be mm. where you are, you yeah. know. And also also want that memoir to like inspire people from the area to like be like, oh my God, she's from the area and she made it. Or even like kids in Vietnam, like, oh my God, I can do that or whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, just see what's happening in LA. Yeah, so you mentioned LA and then <laughs> it was like, oh, I guess we're not coming. Like, no, you guys can come. <laughs> that's come way visit. too far. <laughs> that's LA. <laughs> we're just talking about representing the Southwest and the West. Yeah, but yeah, but 100%. Yeah. yeah, for sure, man. I'm, I'm really excited. Um, you know, Rennie and I are always talking about sort of surrounding ourselves with people who are ambitious and yep. Love that. good to know that we made a friend tonight who yeah, kind of has that same mentality of just you know, being at the entrance, yeah. you know, yeah. things well, are just kicking off. You know, they say that you are the makeup of the five people that you surround yourself with. Wow. Whoa. You know, they say that though. Wow. Think about it. Like this is a really friends. deep one. Think about your closest <laughs> friends, right? And wow. think about how similar you are to them and how, yeah, for sure. how like the same mentality you have. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. So if you want to be a millionaire, start hanging out with more millionaires. I just, I feel like, uh, unfortunately, this is all the time we have. Mm. And I feel like we're, I'm wrapping up this conversation feeling like a million bucks <laughs> yeah sure. i feel great man that's yeah. awesome I feel so good. Yeah. No, honestly thank you so much for coming on to the show no worries and, thanks you know, for having hopefully me we can get you before you go back to la yeah 100%. 100%. to la and um, this has been ama's at creative cave i'm rennie simf and i'm aj and i'm d hey that's a wrap <laughs> hi guys you've been watching ama's at creative cave for more videos click the links below make sure to subscribe like and share the video hit that notification bell for more videos coming up dean you and ladies and gentlemen Follow me on Instagram. Oh, sorry. I like the follow. The yeah, yeah, yeah. The follow was great. Do that, do that. Do you want me to say the same thing? Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no.